Welcome back to another episode of Home Built Workshop. If you saw in my previous video, which I'll put a link to in the description, where I made the guitar shaped coat rack that hangs on my cubicle at work, well my boss saw that and he really liked it and he told me he was really feeling bad that we had this really nice coat rack and all he has is this little wimpy hook hanging on the back of his door. So I'm going to build him a coat rack much like this guitar one that I did. Uh, he likes to fish, so I got a fish, a fish template. Going to make him a fish coat rack and I'm going to do this just a little bit different. I'm going to build a template for my router table first. That way I can repeat these if I need to make a few of these at a time. I've got this piece of Lexan here. I'm going to just glue the template to the Lexan, cut it out, get it all sanded, and get this shaped up just how it needs to be. And then using a pattern bit on my router table, I can cut them out as many as I want. So using some spray glue, I'm just going to glue the template to the Lexan. And then I'll just cut it out using my jigsaw. Now I got a fish. Before I peel the template off of here, I've marked out where the pegs are gonna go and also where the mounting holes are gonna go. I've marked the mounting holes at 16 inches on center and it's gonna have three shaker pegs. I'm just gonna drill those out on my drill press. And these are just gonna be for alignment when I'm actually making the template so I don't have to measure. I'll just be to use this template to drill all the holes. Now with any luck, I'll be able to peel the template off. I'll use a little bit of mineral spirits to help get off any of the excess glue or the paper that won't come off. There we go. Now I'm just going to clean up some of the edges with my spindle sander. Now I'll just clean up the tighter corners and the sharp edges with a piece of sandpaper. Now I've got my template all sanded, the edges are nice and smooth. That thing will last a long, long time. I'll better use that again and again and again if I need to. I've decided this time I'm going to make three of these things to start out. Just because uh, maybe I'll give them away as gifts or something like that. So now I've picked out a couple of pieces of wood, some more of the beetle kill pine, and then a piece that could be beetle kill, but it's not really figured with the coloring of beetle kill, so I'm not really sure if it's from a beetle kill tree or not. But this one definitely is, as well as this one. This one's kind of cool. Look how, look at that wood where this piece broke, and it's all the way down in there with that coloring. And you can also see a lot of these worm holes and or, uh, beetle holes on the back. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to use that one. I'm going to use this piece. I really like the figuring on this, the colors. It's really cool looking. So I'll just take my template, I'll lay it on there, and just trace around it. This one works out perfect. The way the fish fits on there, there's a bad knot there and a bad knot there. Look, that piece is falling right out. And I'm going to be able to cut away from those anyway, so I'll be able to use the board without worrying about those knots. I don't have to be exact when I'm tracing it. I just need to be able to cut away the waste, the majority of it. The router will take care of the rest. Now I'll just cut away the waste. I'll stay a little bit away from the line using my jigsaw. I'm going to stick my template to the wood using some double-sided carpet tape. I've got my router set up with a 3 8 inch straight cutting bit with a bearing on the top. The bearing is going to ride on the template allowing the bit to cut exactly the same size as the template. Now I'll just run all three pieces on the router table using the same process for each one. Thank you. 
And before I move on to the second and third fish, I'm gonna bore out the mounting holes and the holes for the shaker pegs. After a quick sanding with the random orbit sander, I'll glue in the pegs. Little wood glue will hold those pegs in there just fine. I'll clean up the squeeze out. Now I'll just do some final hand sanding to round over the edges and smooth up any sharp corners. I'll finish each one with a couple of coats of poly. The poly's dry and now I've got a school of fish. So I really like the way these came out. I think this one is my favorite. I like the colors that are in the wood, the different variations in the striping. I think it looks pretty neat. I also like this dark colored one because of the holes in here from the, where the beetles were in the tree. So I gotta figure out which one I'm gonna give to my boss and then what I'm gonna do with the other ones. I think he's gonna like it and these will make kind of a cool little gift. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really would appreciate your support. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Just look up Home Built Shop. So thanks for watching. Ah, that figures. I just did the whole intro bit, perfect, and I wasn't recording. Man, hate that. All right, so we'll start over. That's not gonna work. Look at that. <laughs> Wobbly. I'm drilling a hole in a fish. Why is that funny? Pencils. <laughs>